welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catsbit Productions. Today is another quick video, hopefully I'll make this as short as possible and straight to the point. Um, another one of these questions that I get asked very often and I'm starting to call this my best of series because I'm doing a few of these videos where I get these questions, you know, what is the best? All right, so um, before I start the video though, please remember that I do sell screen printing equipment and supplies at catspitscreenprintsupply.com and if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe and rate thumbs up and leave a comment if you have a question or have something nice to say. All right, so what is the best screen printing shop package or startup kit for you? This is the question we're gonna look at really quick today. And I'm going to touch on some really key factors that you should take into consideration when you're deciding this and why um, you know, there's no blanket answer to this question. What is the best screen printing startup package for you? Okay, so the first thing to consider, of course, is your budget. You know, how much do you have to spend? And the reason why that's important is because there are different types of equipment. You have startup equipment, bench top equipment, you have floor presses, tabletop presses, and based on your budget, we can kind of get a better idea of, of what type of equipment you can afford. So the budget is the first thing to consider, and that's gonna narrow you down into a uh, product range. Okay, so the next critical factor that you should consider is obviously the space. How much space do you have to work in? Because the amount of space you have available to your print shop is going to be uh, you know, important. It's gonna be critical. So how much space you have to work in will also determine what type of equipment you can use or you can set up, all right? So these, those are the first two things, budget and space. Once we know that, we can narrow you down to the specific type products that would be better for you, all right? So what's next? Okay, so the next thing to consider is electrical. And I'll, I'll make this twofold. It's two parts to this because you also need running water in a drain. And that you kind of need. You can't get around that. You need running water in a drain. All right, so electrical, however, you may or may not have all the power required for certain dryers or flash cure units. Okay, your washout booth with backlight, your exposure units and stuff are gonna be standard 110, 15 amp. But when it comes to dryers, um, you know, yeah, we have, we have a flash cure that's a 15 amp, 110, but a lot of the dryers take 220 volt electricity. Okay, so what electrical requirements do you have in your space? Do you have 220 volt available? Do you have 110 volt available? And what kind of breakers do you have? Like on the 110 volt, do you have some of those on 15 amp and some on 20 amp? And you know, what, what breakers do you have on 220 volt if you do have 220? So those are all considerations that will again funnel you even more so into specific product ranges. And again, just a reminder, you're gonna definitely need running water and cold tap water, that's all you need, and a drain. Please don't forget if you need screen printing equipment or supplies, check out my offerings at catspitscreenprintsupply.com where you will see all of the equipment that I offer, supplies, everything that I have, that's my catalog, okay? So if you wanna see what I'm selling and how much I'm charging, prices, that kind of information, check out my offerings at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. Another critical factor is really what do you want to be able to print? Okay, so you have to consider what do I want to be able to offer my customers? And that is mostly, you know, directed at the press. You know, do we need a six color, a four color, a two color, a one color? Okay, so what do you want to be able to print? And maybe, you know, when we get to the rotary presses, you know, how fast do you want to be able to print with with multicolors that are require a flash, it's, it's easier to have a rotary press, pallets that move. Okay, so what you wanna be able to give the customer will affect the type of press that you need. Okay, so think about that. Do you wanna be able to offer multicolor? Do you wanna be able to offer CMYK on black garments? Do you wanna be able to do uh, flashing, you know, whatever, you know, you got to think about all the different types of things that you might be able to print or offer the customer 
and then we can determine what kind of press that you might need for your endeavors. Some of you, like I had a guy had a project and you know he's printing um, plastisol transfers. So what he needed was a poster press. Okay, so that's what we wanna know is what do you wanna be able to print? All right, so another thing that comes with, you know, what do you wanna be able to offer the customer? The other thing I would ask you is, you know, what are you printing? Are you going to be printing business to business as a commercial printer for profit? Or are you doing a brand or logo wear or novelty wear? You know, because again, this will tell us whether or not basically time is money. If you're on the commercial end and you're looking to, you know, print for profit and print for other people and businesses, usually you're going to need a belt dryer. Okay, that's a little bit bigger piece of equipment that will cure the shirts and make them wash safe much faster than, say, a flash cure. But if you're a brand and you're, you know, logo wear and a brand, and maybe you're just doing your own thing to start, you can start really slow. Maybe you, all you need is a flash cure to start out with. And then as your brand grows, you buy a dryer later. Okay, so this is another important question is, who are you printing for? You know, is it for yourself or do you intend on being a full on commercial printer printing for profit? So that's another important question that needs to be answered. Okay, so the last thing you're gonna to wanna to consider before we go is what type of ink are you going to print? You're going to print plastisol or you're going to print <laughs> water-based, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so that's, that's an important question. What type of ink are you gonna print because that will determine again what type of uh, flash cure you might need and or what type of belt dryer you might need. Okay, so what type of ink are you gonna print is a very, very important question in answering the question about what is the best screen printing package for you. Okay, so if you have that question, what is, what is the best package for me and you wanna give me a call and discuss it, consider those factors before you give me a call so that we can discuss these different things and come up with the screen printing shop package that is best for your application, your budget, your space, and all these things so that you buy the right equipment and don't buy stuff you don't need, or maybe buy too much, or perhaps buy too little. All right, so uh, seriously, if you're in the market for a screen printing shop package, equipment, or anything, give me a call to discuss your needs. I'm happy to help out, and uh, it's, I enjoy doing it. So. Uh, you can always call me and ask me questions. All right, so I hope this helped out. I hope this was a little bit informative in understanding why, you know, we have to look at a few things before we can decide what is good for you. It's, it's just not a question that can be answered in a blanket, you know, all covering way. You know, each person is different and each person's project is a little different. And, you know, there's some people who are similar, but, you know, we want to make sure we get you the right equipment. So. That's it. That's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and remember to check out catspitscreenprintsupply.com if you need screen printing equipment or supplies. Subscribe to YouTube. Thanks again for watching. Of course, we'll see you next time.